So today we're going to take a look at the ground prize for the upcoming battle pass and that is going to be the Sholef V1 which is an Israeli vehicle coming in at rank 4. So basically this was a competitor to the M109, this was an artillery vehicle built on the Macava Mark 1 chassis but the M109 was chosen instead. So this is fitted with a 155mm 39 caliber gun and it fires three different shells. So you've got the bog standard M107 from the M109 vehicle, but you've also got two M401 shells. So one is a contact shell, so it explodes on contact with whatever it hits, and one is a HEVT shell. So obviously that one you can use a bit more tactically, you can try and fire it over the roofs of enemy vehicles so it will explode on the roof or just above the roof, you know, dealing with the much thinner roof armour of the vehicle. And the M401 also has much more explosive content. It's got 12 kilograms of explosive versus 9.1 kilograms for the M107. And it's going to be quite fast firing. So the Sholef is going to have an auto loader in game. So it's capable of firing five shells a minute or one every 12 seconds. And that does also help out with um, losing crew. So if you lose your, one of your crew members, it's not going to reduce the firing rate of the vehicle. But of course you have got the auto loader so if that gets damaged that is going to put you at a disadvantage. And you can also see there is an MG on the roof so you have got a little bit of uh, covering fire against enemy aircraft or soft skin vehicles while you're reloading. And as I mentioned earlier it is built on the hull of the Macava Mark 1 so it's better protected especially on the hull compared to the M109 but the turret itself isn't heavily armoured so that is going to be quite a vulnerable area and of course that is the main bit you'll see from the tank. It's quite a prominent part of the vehicle so that's going to be a very obvious target for enemies to go for and it's going to be worse in regards to manoeuvrability compared to the M109 which is a bit of a shame but it shouldn't be a too huge of a disadvantage and we're not told in the dev blog but the crew complement for this vehicle is 4. And like I mentioned earlier, it's got an auto loader, so if you do lose some crew, it's not going to be such a huge disadvantage. And so, yeah, this looks to be a pretty decent price for the Battle Pass. It's nice to see Israel getting it represented and getting a new vehicle. And it does seem to be a very interesting vehicle. Like I say, it was a competitor to the M109, a domestically produced competitor. And so, yeah, it's nice that this will be represented in War Thunder and that people will have a chance to get it. And yeah, it does seem to be a fairly decent prize, and I think it'll be a very good prize for the Battle Pass. Anyway, just a quick video for today, hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.